So, let us uh, now look at this uh, cyclic loading and I have labeled the um, arrival of maxima as the first maxima, second maxima and so on. And as the cycling is going on, after on the nth maximum, the component breaks, there is a fracture. Now, the question is when the sample did not break, when the component did not break in the first cycle, in the second cycle, why the same component breaks at in the nth cycle, when the maximum stress is the same as in the first cycle or second cycle. Let us look at it from Griffith's crack theory, which we have discussed. So, if sigma max is the load at which uh, the component is operating, then we, we can find a critical crack length critical crack length for fast fracture A c as two e gamma by pi sigma max square, where e and gamma have the useful meaning e is the Young's modulus. And gamma is surface energy. Now, since the component did not fail on reaching this maximum stress, this means that the existing crack length, the actual crack length A in the material, let me call that A, A initial or A 1. So, A 1 is less than this critical crack size. So, at sigma max a crack of length a 1 will not grow and a 1 is the crack length existing in the material. So, since after unloading we are reloading again then this crack is still will not grow. So, if we continue so on in the nth cycle also a crack of length a 1 should not have grown. This is fine, but what is being missed in this analysis that a, the initial crack length a 1 will continue to grow with every cycle. This is called a subcritical crack growth. subcritical crack growth, which means although the crack size was a 1 here, in the next cycle it had become a 1 plus delta a 2. So, there will be some increment of uh, crack length in each cycle. If these increment keep happening, then you can see that after certain number of cycle a 1 would have grown to the length a c. So, sub the crack growth from the initial crack length a 1 to the critical crack length a c 
is called the subcritical crack growth and this is the cause of the fatigue. This is not governed by this Griffiths criterion. This criterion tells that a crack of length AC will grow in a fast fracture mode. There will be a ra very rapid crack growth, but a subcritical crack growth is a slow crack growth. But when the crack length will reach AC, a fast fracture will take place and that is the end of the life of the component.